The Battle of the Truy de Charme or Battle of the Mortagne was fought at the beginning of World War I, between 24 and 26 August 1914 by the French 2nd Army and the German 6th Army, after the big German victory at the Battle of the Frontiers, earlier in August. Chapter 1 – Background from 1874 to 1880, General Raymond Adolphe Sear de Rivieres oversaw the construction of the Sear de Rivieres system, a line of fortresses 65 km long from Belfort to Epinal, and another line 65 km long from Toul to Verdun, about 40 km from the Franco-German border. The River Meuse flows northwards from Toul to Verdun, Mezières and Givet on the Belgian border and there is a tributary of the Moselle between Belfort and Epinal, the rivers running near parallel to the 1871-1919 Franco-German border. A 70 km wide interruption in the French fortifications was left between Epinal and Toul, known as the Truy de Charme, which was west of Nancy, about 12 km from the Franco-German frontier. A second series of fortifications, to prevent the main line being outflanked, was built in the south from Longre to Dijon, and in the north from La Ferre to Reims, then from Valenciennes to Mabouge, although for financial reasons these took until 1914 to complete. Chapter 2 Prelude The French had suffered a crushing defeat in the Battle of Lorraine and retreated in disorder. Helmut von Moltke the Younger, the chief of the general staff of the German army had a difficult choice. The apparent collapse of the French Second Army made possible a breakthrough of the Truy de Charme and the encirclement of all French troops in Lorraine, and the Ardennes. Moltke decided to pursue the French and to break through the Truy he maintained the left wing at its full strength of 26 divisions and ordered the Bavarian Sixth Army to attack at the junction of the French Second Army and the First Army. The Second Army was regrouping in the Truy de Charme area and Castle now learned from the Dozien Bureau, that German columns were moving on Safis and Beechamps, heading for the Gap. A few hours later French aerial observers spotted the German troops and Joseph Joffrey, the French commander-in-chief, directed Dubail to reinforce the Second Army with the Eighth Corps. Chapter 3 – Battle On the 24th of August, the Bavarian Sixth Army began to attack in the direction of the Truy de Charme against the centre of the Second Army, as this was judged to be where the French were the strongest. Initially the Germans were successful and managed to take Damalivias and Gerba Villa, then pushed the French from Wackenartwood, Clairlou, and Sensel, from where they moved towards Bayonne. The Second Army was able to limit the German advance, the French 74th Infantry Regiment in particular, fighting with great tenacity. Bavarian attacks on the Flanville Plateau were repulsed. To force through the gap, the 6th Army moved troops to the centre from the flanks, which Castle now exploited by attacking the German flanks with the 71st Division and they were pushed out of Herbervilla, Rimeraville, and Cowabessos. The right wing of the 2nd Army attacked the left flank of the Bavarians and managed to take saint Point, essie la cote Clesentaine, and Menarmont. During the night of 24-25 August, the French continued a bombardment and Castle now concentrated the Second Army against the centre of the Sixth Army. Castle now launched an early morning attack to take Rosiliers, the attack succeeded but the Germans counter-attacked and retook Rosiliers. Castle now attacked both German flanks with the 15th Corps and 16 Corps. This had a devastating effect on the morale of the Bavarians, who had expected to be in pursuit of a defeated enemy. The Bavarian centre was kept under constant artillery fire by the French, and at 3 pm, the French regained Rosaliers from the 6th Army, which suffered casualties of 2,500 men killed. On 26 August, Ruprecht ordered a retreat. Chapter 4 Aftermath the Battle of the Truy de Charme was a victory for the French Second Army, in stopping the Germans from passing through the Truy de Charme, Castle now possibly saved the French from disaster. Paris a été sauvé la main, c'est parquet que Castle now avait un coup à Rosiliers. The two sides regrouped and on the 4th of September, fought the Battle of Grand Couronne when the Germans tried to capture Nancy. The Bavarians had to abandon their effort on 13 September, the front line in the rain remained quiet for the next four years. 
Chapter 5, Sources